We learned tonight that as soon as police finish searching that spot, they head straight to the Anthony home and raid the Tot Mom's closet and strip little Kelly's room for evidence. We have a, a partial list of what they have taken from the home. Now to Mark Williams with WNDB News Talk 1150. Mark, what did police take out of the Anthony home? Well, what they, Nancy, what they took out of the Anthony home was clothing and shoes belonging to both Kaylee and Casey. They even took some of Kaylee's little toys. They literally stripped Kaylee's room here at the Anthony house that's uh, right in back of us right now. Uh, it's all in the custody of Sheriff's Office investigators at their office and they're going over it because see, the theory is that they found something at that crime scene that uh, they needed to come back here real quick because now they can connect some of the dots because they don't have any toxicology reports back yet, Nancy. Okay, Drew Petromo uh, joining us from the Anthony home along with Mark Williams. Drew is with WDBO as well. Drew, it's my understanding they took shoes, toys, clothing. Uh, what else do we know about sunglasses being taken? They did take a pair of sunglasses on there and you know, I'm sure you've shown through all the videos that a lot of times when she was going to and from her lawyer's office, we'd see her wearing those sunglasses. We don't know if those are the pair that they took, but we remember that she was, would constantly be wearing those sunglasses. So whether that, how that ties into this investigation is another interesting part of it. Also what they took were soil samples from the house. And I, I, you can imagine that they're trying to somehow link the soil that was found at that site to soil samples found back at the house. Two pair of sunglasses taken belonging to the Tot Mom uh, to Leonard Padilla, bounty hunter who not only posted the initial bond for the Tot Mom, but then has helped uh, in an exhaustive search for little Kaylee's remains. The sunglasses, the shoes, the clothing, the toys. What uh, is the reasoning behind police taking that immediately after they close down the scene? Well, it has to do with were there duplicates or were the only little toys that the little girl had in the car buried with her or put in the bag with her at the time and they wanted to make sure that there was no duplications back in her room of glasses, clothing or toys. Um, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it because unless you know every single toy the child had, uh, I've, I, of course I've got twins, but I've got a lot of duplicate toys. So I, I don't see that reasoning. I'm very intrigued, Natisha Lance, uh, joining us. She's been on the case from the get-go. Why they chose to take two pair of the Top Mom sunglasses, there's got to be a reason. There has to be a reason, Nancy. However, we're not sure what that reason is at this point. What I might say is that possibly they may have been glasses that she was wearing when she may have disposed of the body, and they might be looking for any type of evidence that may be connected to these glasses that were taken from the scene where the remains were found.